music lovers on a cross-country trip, touring like rock stars, getting a crash course in the music industry, one city at a time. So when I heard we were going to Nashville, I immediately thought country music, and I thought Laura was going to love it. I was so excited we were going to Nashville. I was so excited to see what we were going to do. We went to the Crown Ole Opry first. We're um, arriving at what is the undisputed home of country music. Grand Ole Opry is actually a show. A lot of people think of it as the building. It's a constant parade of new stars, superstars, and legends of country music. So when you stand on this circle of wood, you'll be standing where legends once stood. Take a shot. So when I was standing there in the middle of the circle, I happened to look down and it was like shining in parts. These are little tiny beads that have fallen off of the wardrobes of the legends. They let me sing a whole song on stage. When does someone get an opportunity to do that? The biggest moment of all was watching Laura sing on that big, huge stage. I'm, I'm really just overwhelmed. I'm trying to take it all in. Thinking about all the legends who have walked on that stage was overwhelming. You made me the heartbreaker I am today. I learned firsthand the tricks you can play. It was crazy belting out to this huge auditorium. Playing your game. Wow, that's amazing. Then we met up with Marv Green and Amber Rhodes. I'm Amber. This is Marv Green. I've been fortunate enough recently to be able to work with Marv as a songwriter. Marv Green is an amazing songwriter who actually has won Grammys and everything. It was a little bit of a jaw-dropping moment being able to walk into a room and meet with someone who is so established in the industry. I've written a song called Wasted for Carrie Underwood. It just comes natural for George Strait. Uh, Let's Make Love for Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. I can't believe you write songs for George Strait. Speaking of songwriting, I've heard that you guys are trying to collaborate on a little tune. Do you want to show us what you got? It's kind of a funny thing How sometimes we don't give our all At times we often think We're not good enough A one taken gun Make or break my soul I really couldn't tell if he liked it. I was looking down at my lyrics most of the time, so I didn't really see his facial expression. And I think I was too nervous to look at his face. Keep this high. Keep this high. Gonna keep this high. Gonna keep this high. Hold on to this high. Keep this high. Keep this high. You wanna go first? <laughs> well, I mean, obviously we're talking about a genre that I don't really, you know, necessarily spend a lot of time in, but I recognize, uh, you know, the features and the memorable part about keeping this, keeping this high. You know, lyrically, it seems like it's a nice message. Um. <laughs> he was absolutely shocked by our song. I could, I could see it in his eyes. Structure for me, I'm, I'm a little more into structure. I don't know, you know, it is kind of rambling little pieces. For what this is, it sounds like you guys had a concept, you wanted everybody to have a voice, and there's nothing wrong with that. But he said, you know, that it was pretty good. Or did he? If I made that up, whatever, whatever, Marv. So I have a hard time doing a song from top to bottom. That's where your co or collaborator comes in, you know? I mean, if you were going to write with someone else you didn't know, you just go here. I got five pieces of things, let me throw them out, let me see if anything sticks. You know, because generally, it'll take four or five before someone might go, yeah, let's, let's focus on that. Or maybe two of them go together, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't get an opportunity every day to meet someone of, of such success. It was Janelle's 21st birthday, so we took her to a bar called Station Inn. There was a band on stage, they were really good. So we wrote this, so Steve and I wrote this song, it's called Redneck Yacht Club. And we want to dedicate this to a very special person tonight named Janelle, who's turning 21. 
they sent Janelle a little shout out over the over the microphone. They were like, why don't you come up on stage and sing a little song with us? And so, you know, we're all like, yes, let's sing a song. I'm going to be honest, because I'm not well versed in country, I didn't know the tune. The lead singer of this band, Tom Shepard, wrote the song Redneck Yacht Club, which I know the song like the back of my hand. It was uh, a wonderful, wonderful surprise <laughs> and a great way to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> on Ragged Road. Today in Detroit was my big day. I was gonna get a chance to interview a band. We're not answering any of your questions. Oh, okay. <laughs>